What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be going over the new Swimsuit Sakura. Um, this is going to be the first video that goes out today, and the second video, which will come like probably an hour after this, is going to be the Should You Summon. I decided to make this one first so you know what you're summoning for. Um, and then I'll do like the Naruto overview tomorrow. And uh, I should be streaming today, so yeah. Anyways, starting off. She's a 50 cause, leaf affiliation, heart type, short range, 1480 HP, 1976 attack, which is actually really good, you know, for a unit that is like a trap banner type deal. Um, field and buddy skill, boost attack by 150 to 300, boost attack by 300. The 150 to 300 is kind of bad because she's short range, so you have to be like right by her, like on top of her to get that boost, but uh... Yeah, that it, the field and buddy skill are really good though. They're like, cause she's a heart unit boosting heart units. So instead of having Kadeen have to boost heart units, who's wisdom, you have a heart unit that can do it now, and that's really really good. Um, her jutsu for three chakra, two point five times attack and heart damage to all enemies in range, fifty percent chance of jutsu ceiling for two turns. That is really good, and we're gonna get into why that's so good in a little bit. And then her ultimate, 6.5 times attack and heart damage. That's supposed to be single target, not AoE. 6.5 times attack, heart damage to one enemy in range. Knocks them back. Deals 9 times damage if they are sealed. Then her abilities. All of them are 10% chance of erasing chakra consumption on normal jutsu. So, pretty much, you have a 50% chance to spam her jutsu every single time you attack every single time that's crazy like that's um about 5000 plus damage every time she attacks if if you get it off but that's the thing if you have six chakra that and you do it then you do it again then you do it and you do it again and if it's on and off you can potentially do it at least like four times in a row with because like and it's a three chakra jutsu so it's like on top of three chakra like between you getting it and not getting that um ch you know zero chakra consumption you're gonna get your chakra back and be able to try again it's like bruh like that's really good i feel like that's really good um she goes under 28 cost, by the way. Um, she goes all the way to 25 cost with max dupes. Uh, how much does she... Okay, yeah, yeah, you have to get max dupes because if you get four dupes, she's at 30 cost. You got to get five to get her down to 25. So, um, yeah, there's that. And then uh, her sync skills. Sync with heart reduces damage from body by 20%. That is one of the best sync skills possible. Because she's a heart unit reducing body damage. And it's sync with heart. We run mono teams on this game. So that makes it really, really, really beneficial. Um, sync with leaf. Restore 75 HP. Most of the units in the game are leaf ninjas. So that's not that bad. Uh, sync with mid and long range. Reduce chance of being sealed. That's kind of eh, irrelevant. Kind of. PvP stats. 28,000 HP. 3,500 attack. 173 speed. Which... It's not that good, but, like, you gotta think, but the comp, it's like, her by herself, no, it's not that good, but the combos she can do, because think about it, for 6 chakra, six, getting 6 chakra in PvP is easy, it's really easy, um, and all you gotta do is use somebody that can seal, like, Blazing Fest Gara, and then come out with her or something, boom, you're nuking for 9 times damage, you know what I'm saying? You're hitting for nine times. Nine times damage in PvP is is pretty much a nuke because most people only get their jutsus off that are like five times damage and stuff like that. Like Utakata getting his slip damage first jutsu off. That's a nuke. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's like twenty two thousand damage or something like that. I forgot the numbers, but yeah. So it's like that. Oh, pretty much. It's not like individually like the individual stuff she has makes her good it's the fact that she has a bit of everything that makes her good three and six chakra she can nuke because it's six chakra then she has an aoe first jutsu that can jutsu seal and then this is the thing 
You can use the first Jutsu, Jutsu Seal, come back around, use her ult because she won't use Chakra. 50% chance. Her field and buddy skill are really, really good for PvE. You know what I'm saying? Her six skills are really good. And then her PvP stat, she has almost 30,000 HP, so she can tank a little bit. She was, she's not getting one shot by Killer B. She has really high attack stat for uh, PvP. And her, her speed is kind of slow, but she makes up with it. She makes it up with everything else she can do. Um... So yeah, I mean, she's she's pretty good unit overall. Not not gonna lie, not even gonna say her lie. Um, but yeah, uh, that's probably gonna be it. That's gonna be it for this video. Uh, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below, tell me what you guys think about her. Um, like I said, I'll do the uh, should you pull later on. Uh, well, after this video, I'll probably stream later on. I'm kind of mad that I didn't stream yesterday because nobody streamed. I thought people were going to stream. Nobody streamed. So, yeah. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, that's going to be it. And uh, with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.